Hello there and welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. At the moment we do predominantly focus on A-level chemistry lessons and they are full, designed to be full lesson videos. So please make sure you subscribe and you like to make sure you don't miss out on future videos. I do aim eventually to cover the full A-level specification. If you think there are any, any gaps, please let me know and I'll ensure that I fill them for you. So hopefully you find it useful and good luck. So this video then, it's a lesson two in the transition series from year 11 GCSE into A-level chemistry. And this is going to focus on balancing chemical equations, a very important skill that we must have at A-level. Let's get straight into an example then. So there we have a symbol equation. Okay, we won't use word equations at all at A-level. It will all be symbol equations. So there's a symbol equation. The first thing we need to do is identify the elements that we're talking about that are present in this reaction. So we can see that we've got Ca, we've got calcium, we've got C, carbon and O, oxygen. So what we need to do is count how many we have on each side. On the left we have one calcium and on the right we have one calcium. On the left we have one carbon and on the right we have one carbon. On the left we have three oxygens and on the right we have three oxygen. So that is already balanced. That equation did not require any balancing. Right, let's look at a different example then. So this time we have carbon on the left, carbon on the right. We have one carbon on the left hand side in CH4 and one carbon on the right in CO2. The left hand side we have four hydrogens on the right hand side we have two so we can see already that this equation is not balanced let's continue through and make sure we've done all the elements so we've got oxygen this time we've got two oxygen atoms on the left and we've got three oxygen atoms on the right so this is not balanced so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have to increase the number of hydrogens on the right hand side the only way i can increase the number of hydrogens is to put a number in front of the water. Okay, that's the only way I can increase it. A common mistake that I'll see people do often is they'll decide that they can just change this number here. You can't do that. Okay, as soon as you change these little subscript numbers, you're changing what that substance is. So water is H2O. We can't mess with the little ones. Okay, don't mess with the little fellas. So the only way we can increase the number of hydrogen is to put two in front of this. So we've got two waters. So what that now does is it means we have four hydrogens but be careful because it's also increased the number of oxygens look so we've got two we've now got four oxygens on the right so we're happy that the hydrogens are now balanced the carbons were already balanced so we've not changed the number of carbons at that point so we need two more oxygens on the left if i put number two in front of this two or two gives us four oxygens that equation is now balanced Lovely, well done. Okay, so he's five more. I'm going to suggest you pause the video at this point and have a go yourself at balancing these. And when you're ready, unpause it and I'll go through. Okay, so following the same logic each time then. So when you're doing this for the first time, I suggest you work out underneath exactly as we did in the previous ones. But I'm just going to talk through them. So You'll identify that there's one calcium on each side for the first one. There's also one carbon on each side. And when it comes to oxygen, we've got three on the left and three on the right. So that one is actually already balanced. I don't need to do anything to that one. Second one then, magnesium, one on the left, one on the right. Again, I'm suggesting when you do this now, you actually make notes underneath and show you're working through. So the magnesiums are balanced. Oxygens, one on the left, one on the right. So far, so good. Hydrogens, one on the left, two on the right. So we do need to increase our number of hydrogens. I'm going to put a two here. Does that affect anything? It affects chlorines. We've not tried to balance those yet, though. So I've now got two chlorines on the left, and I do have two chlorines on the right. So the second one is now balanced with that number two there. Remember, we can only put big numbers at the front of the substances we can't change any of the subscripts 
And when I say subscripts, I'm meaning these small numbers within the formula because they make up the formula of that substance. So we can't change those numbers. And the third one, one sulfur on the left and one sulfur on the right. We're happy with that. Oxygens, though, we've got four oxygens on the left and we've only got three on the right. So we need more oxygens on the right. The only way we can do that by putting a number two in front of this, but that now gives us six oxygens and two sulfurs. So we've kind of almost feels like we've made the problem worse. So I need more sulfurs on the left now. Let's put a number two here. So now that balances the sulfur again, we've now got two sulfurs on the left and two sulfurs on the right. What's that done to our oxygens? Well, on the left, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. We've got six oxygens on the left now and we have six oxygens on the right. That is now balanced. Okay, then moving down to the fourth one. Sodiums. I've got two sodiums on the left and only one sodium on the right. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and balance the sodium straight away by putting the number two here. So two sodiums on the left and I now have two sodiums on the right. I have one carbon on the left and I have one carbon on the right. That's okay. I have six oxygens on the left and on the right, I actually have six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine oxygens. So I need three more oxygens on the left. Now I could, I could put a number two in front of this. That would give me my nine oxygens. But in doing this, if I do put a number two there, yes, it gives me nine oxygens on the left, but it's going to imbalance my or unbalance my sodiums again, which is going to kind of take me back to square one. So I think a better option here is to put the two in front of this one and it increases my oxygens by three. I've now got O3 and two O3, that's nine. So my oxygens are now balanced and I haven't upset the balance of my sodiums. So sodiums are still balanced, two on each side. The carbons are still balanced, one on each side. The oxygens are now balanced with nine on each side. So I now need to look at the H and the N, and we've done all of the atoms. So I've got how many on the left? I've got two H's on the left, and I've got two H's on the right. So that's good news. There's just the N's to worry about now. On the left-hand side, I've got two N's, because I've got two HNO3. So I've got two N's on the left, and I have two N's on the right. So the fourth equation is now balanced. Right, final equation. I've got two N's on the left and only one N on the right. So I need to put number two here. That now balances the N's. How many H's on the left? I've got two. How many H's on the right? I've got six. Two NH3, that's six H's on the right. So I need six H's on the left by putting a three here. Three H2 is six H's. That equation is now balanced. Now, as well as having the skill or being able to balance equations, we're going to be expected to construct our own equation. So we could be given, for example, um, to construct the equation of when magnesium burns in air. And we would be expected to know what's happening there. OK, so he's kind of a, a table of expected reactions that we should be aware of from GCSE. So when a substance reacts with oxygen, it burns and forms oxides. Metal with water. So if not all metals will react with water, but if a metal reacts with water, it will make metal hydroxide and hydrogen. You should have seen that with group one metals with water. OK, but that reaction is also the same for any other reactive metal with water. And again, you should have seen metal with acid making salt and hydrogen and then metal oxide with acid, salt and water. Metal hydroxide with acid, salt and water. Metal carbonate with acid, salt, water, carbon dioxide. And the, the bottom three, possibly not. So hydrogen, carbonate and acid is very much the same as a carbonate, salt, water, carbon dioxide. Ammonia and acid, possibly not. Ammonium 
and then there's your um, finally thermal decomposition if you heat up a metal carbonate it can thermally decompose which means it breaks down so it goes from a metal carbonate to a metal oxide and carbon dioxide you can see some examples on the right there so i suggest you kind of pause the video at this point and you make a note of those general reactions okay because we're going to practice using those in a moment on the next slide so once you've got that table written down i suggest that you pause the video now and you're going to attempt to construct equations for these three reactions right so sodium with water, that's metal with water. So we know that metal, sodium is Na. We are allowed to use a periodic table. Water is H2O. Now this is where our knowledge comes in. We need to know that when a metal reacts with water, it makes metal hydroxide and hydrogen. So we know it's going to make metal hydroxide and hydrogen. Hydrogen is H2. And from lesson one, we should be able to construct the formula for the metal hydroxide. The metal in question here is sodium. Sodium, just reminding us from lesson one, sodium is one plus, hydroxide is OH minus. So sodium hydroxide is NaOH. So you have to be able to work these out. So we're combining lesson one and lesson two now. Now I need to balance that equation. So one Na on the left, one Na on the right. One O on the left, one O on the right. Hydrogens, though, they're not balanced. On the left, I've got two, and on the right, I've got three. So I need more hydrogens on the left by putting a two there. It feels like I've made things worse because I've now got four hydrogens on the left and three on the right, so it's still not balanced. By putting a two here, I've now got four hydrogens on the left and four hydrogens on the right, but I've messed up the sodiums. So I've now got two on the right, only one on the left, I need another sodium. There we go. I've now got two sodiums on the left, two sodiums on the right, four hydrogens on the left, four hydrogens on the right. And what's happened to oxygen? I've got two on the left now, two H2O, and I've also got two on the right. So that is now balanced. Number two then, lithium hydroxide with sulfuric acid. What's lithium hydroxide? Well, lithium is in group one, so it'll be one plus. Hydroxide, we know, is OH minus. It was on that list of ions with the, that we had to learn from lesson one. So lithium hydroxide is LiOH. Sulfuric acid is H2SO4. And what does that make? So metal hydroxide with acid makes salt and water. Water is the easy one. The salt in this question will be lithium sulfate because it's the metal is lithium and the acid is sulfuric acid. So it makes lithium sulfate. Now, lithium is 1 plus and sulfate is SO4 2 minus. Again, from lesson 1, that was on your list of ions to learn. So here we need two lithiums. So the formula for lithium sulfate is Li2SO4. So now we go through our balancing. I can see already that the lithiums are not balanced. I'm going to need two on the left, so I'll put two LiOH. So what does that now do to my oxygens? I've got six oxygens on the left, and I only have five oxygens on the right. So what I'm going to do is put a two in front of the water, and that should increase my oxygens by one, and I have six oxygens on the right and six on the left. My lithiums are still balanced, so now let's balance the hydrogens. Two on the left, and we have, no, sorry, I have four on the left, because I've got two LiOH and H2 SO4, so that's four hydrogens on the left, and we have four hydrogens on the right, so hydrogens are balanced. Um, how about our sulfurs? We've got one on the left, one on the right. And when it comes to oxygens, six on the left and six on the right so that is now balanced i am happy that equation two is now balanced finally then the third one calcium carbonate well calcium is in group two it's two plus carbonate was on the list of ones to know co3 two minus so calcium carbonate will be c a c o three hydrochloric acid is h c l 
that will make salt water and carbon dioxide so the salt here will be calcium chloride calcium is two plus chloride is one minus so CaCl2 for calcium chloride and water is H2O and carbon dioxide is CO2 now we need to ensure it's balanced one calcium on the left one calcium on the right one carbon on the left one carbon on the right so far so good oxygens I've got three on the left and three on the right this is too easy so far hydrogens one on the left two on the right so I need another hydrogen on the left put a two there that balances the hydrogens chlorines I now have two chlorines on the left and two chlorines on the right excellent that is now balanced and that's the end of lesson two on the year 11 transition hope you enjoyed it good luck goodbye <laughs>